They say it's about God and country. But what they mean is they're a god. What that means is that it's all about them. And we're just bystanders and an obstacle. You have to paint yourself in the image of Trump with a big red hat, tiny hands, oh, and you need to be able to lie, grift, and make up childish names, too. Irony and hypocrisy. It's the song of their people, ever the victims. But remember, if it's convenient, we throw you under the bus. It is God's will, and they're the chosen ones. And everyone else is crooked, and it must be a witch hunt or a kangaroo court. If Trump is held accountable like anyone else, in America, but not the 34-time convicted felon, not the adjudicated rapist or cult leader, not Epstein's pal Trump. He is far too white and far too entitled to be held accountable after all right. The good books, their guide, it says so right there. Love thy neighbor, unless they're not like us. And we don't like their pride flag. Isn't that right? Supreme Court justice, Christian nationalist cultists. You see, their way is the only way It's a big golf club For old geriatric white guys Who keep their wives in line Only as per the rules of their hand Waving oompa loompa Looking racist felon rapist prophet He speaks for God these days Or so they claim to say With a tweet that says I'm insecure My ego needs approval Every single second Or every single day it's prophecy fulfilled, don't you see? The chosen one is spoken, and we must obey with glee. So if you're not like them, if you don't fit the mold, you'll be an outsider left out in the cold. Mag is just a label, but it's what they believe, and that's what makes America great. According to them, it's all we need. You know what democracy is? It's like a joke, a joke with no punchline. Because if we don't take care of it, if we don't fight for it, if we don't defend it from our autocrats and fascists, it'll be gone in an instant. And that's why I'm here tonight, folks, to remind you all, democracy is fragile. It needs our protection, it needs our vigilance, and it needs our voices to speak out against tyranny. So let me ask you, are you ready to stand up and fight for this great experiment we call America? Are you ready to defend the values that George Washington and his fellow founders fought for? Because if we're not, then I'm afraid we'll be singing a different tune. One that says, God bless our king. And unfortunately, that's no joke at all. But the good news, there is one thing we can all do. Vote for Kamala Harris or against Trump, vote blue. Because it is clear, it's the right thing to do here in America. Making it great is as simple as that. Make the most of your vote. It's democracy's only hope. Thank you folks, and good night.